Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be going to the Grace of Water Trial and trying to get a clear in, hopefully in 20 turns or less. We're going to be taking a Esper of Ruin Rain as our damage dealer with my own and this party. <laughs> so um, I'm wondering if maybe this party is a little bit heavy on defenses and not enough damage. But let's give it a go. So I did browse the wiki page. I didn't like study it. I didn't make a turn chart. So we're gonna be winging it for the most part. But um, let's see if we can get a clear in without like mapping out every single turn. So I do know Siren is incredibly annoying because she gets five stack Mirage every single turn that cannot be dispelled. But we're gonna deal with it. I've got a plan. So let's go ahead and do some buffing real quick. Esper of Ruin Fina. Well, we're not in peril yet. So we're going to use Secure Ayaka to immunity buff and stop and charm resist, etc. We'll use Vanille, I'm thinking. Let's just break for the moment. Let's have Esper Rain, or Ruin Rain, do some buffing. Let's do some water resist as well. Other one can do some buffing for the party, some mod buffing, and uh, let's imperil the boss. And then Ruin Fina can status immunity, not status, uh, break immunity to the party, bigger imperil, and some LB fill for uh, the party. Okay, so yeah, we've got five stack Mirage every single turn. Now I do know there's a gimmick where you can silence the boss and turn on like Berserk mode. Honestly, we're, we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to try to we're going to try to do it else otherwise. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking real quick. Hold on. Hmm. We're getting dispelled this turn anyway, so let me think for a second. So if we go to the base form with Cecil and we double, how long does her field last? <coughs> oh, that's the wrong one. How long does the field last? Six turns. That should be fine, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of two stacks Mirage here and put up the field down. That's not going to really work, huh? Oh my god. Uh, this is killing me. Uh, you can quad bolting. What do you mean? Or triple bolting. And so can you. So we'll do it this way. We'll triple... Let's do it times four. Let's triple bolting. Hold on. Oh my god. I'm so bad at this. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to triple light bolting. Let's quad light bolting to support chain, by the way. And what else do we want to do? Did we get imperiled or anything? No, not yet. That's next turn, huh? Let's just fill some LB. And Cecil will have to go to the base form where he will triple get rid of the mirage stacks. And here we go. So, we're going to wait for the Mirage to be gone. We're going to send Rain first. Wait, wait, wait. Send the others to Cap, because his LB is really goofy frames. Oh my god, that was... That was good damage. That was a lot of damage. Okay. I guess the first boss is usually pretty easy. Um, there's the Mirage again. We love that. We got completely dispelled, though, so, deal, you know, gotta deal with that. That's, that's okay, though. Next turn, we're getting Rain's SLB, which, thankfully, <coughs> is proper chaining. I, I wish his base form was freaking chaining. It's not, though. Um, who are we on? Cecil. We got dispelled. So, Cecil's gonna cover Shelga. And let's go ahead and Omni-cover this turn. Uh, before we do that, let's... Oh, you know, we don't want to do that. Um, hmm... Yeah, we need immunity buffs, actually. So we're going to immunity buff with you. We'll use our Esper of Ruin Fina to cure the debuffs on the party. Let's do break immunity. And let's do a heal and a imperil on the boss. Let's have Vanille. I was going to use her Magnus. We don't actually need it this turn now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, so let's just do some, like, other stuff. Very descriptive, I know. Honestly, whatever. Uh, and then you're going to get ready for bursting next turn. So we're going to re-imbue, re-buff, and re-water resist you. 
we, that's all AOEs. We don't need to do that. That's permanent. Um, well, not permanent, but uh, it's still up, in other words. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? Reverse the next turn. All right. So here we go. So we're Omni covering this turn. So the boss does do some fixed stuff that bypasses cover, but we're not really worried about it. And right there is the Omni covered attack. Perfect. All right. Let's go to the base form with Cecil. And uh, let's just triple bolting or triple physical attack to get rid of the boss's stuff. We'll just triple physical attack here to get rid of the boss's stuff. There we go. SLB, SLB, and you, we don't really need anything, so we can just, like, give it a go. I guess we can fill MP, huh? So let's fill MP. Um, a little bit of MP fill. we do that. Do this. And that should be the end of fight number one. Outstanding. There is four turns out of our 20 allowed for the all-mission clear. Of course, these should get harder as we go, but, uh... You know, you know, whatever. Okay, so here's Kokorayu. This one is, I tried it as a test run and I kind of got bamboozled when he hit point locked and healed up. So I do, I do know that's coming. Um, I haven't been past him yet, though. I've never actually seen the final guy. Um, you know, I don't know if he cures his debuffs. I didn't even look at that. Again, I didn't study the wiki page. I probably should have. So we're going to cure the ambush debuffs with uh, Fina. We're going to step our break immunity. Let's imperil the boss. And the question mark, what are we doing now? I guess we can heal. Yeah, it's fine. All right, we need some immunity buffs over here. So we're going to go ahead and immunity. Cecil put the field back up on his base form, so that's good. Let's go to the shift form, and let's uh, cover that. And let's do a resist buff. I don't think the resist buff matters on this boss, uh, but whatever. I'm going to real quick look at the wiki. I don't know if he cures his debuffs. I'm going to look real quick. Am I wasting her SLB? I'm just browsing the wiki very briefly. Does this guy have a self-dispel in his kit? Of course he does. Oh, my God. When does he do that? Uh, he does that. Oh, that's only, only on turn five and phase two. That's no big deal. Yeah, that's no big deal. Okay, so if we SLB this turn on on you, we're good to go. So, <clears throat> so let's imbue, let's buff, and let's modify our buff. You will break the boss, 85, modifier buff, and let's do a water resist. We're gonna be saving the 150 amp for the final for the final stage. Okay, so we're running out of mana big time on the friend. Just real quick, out of curiosity, did they did they actually pot their MP? Of course not. Of course not. Because why would you freaking stat pot your MP on a premium unit? <sighs> anyway. Uh, oh, that hurt. Okay. Um. The. Eh. Okay, I was gonna burst here with LB, but um, unfortunately, if I do that, that means we're not healing. Oh no, I can I can still heal. Yeah, I can use a Yaka. Never mind. So we'll do this with Cecil. Oh, no, I can... Let's do it this way. Let's use you to triple chain. Oh, that's not going to work. No, we're going to use you to triple chain. It's not going to work either. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It's fine. Okay, so we're going to use you to triple chain. We're gonna triple chain you up here with you over here. Let's go ahead and triple chain some bolting. We're gonna LBU, LBU. I think we're gonna wait a moment on the other two. So we're gonna send this, wait, 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 send the top. Wow! We pushed the 50 threshold already. I was not ready for that. Um, hmm, question mark, what are we doing? 50 threshold. I'm gonna I'm, I'm cheat. I'm gonna look it up. Oh my god, that's the heal. No, it's not. That's the that's the 25 threshold. The 50 threshold is just a buff and berserk. Ew. Oh, we can cure that. No problem. It's fine. So let's heal the party. 
I don't think we need a double heal. Nah, one should be good. And just do some LB fill, I guess. <laughs> okay. I think we're getting their SLB this turn, actually. Okay, there's the Berserk. It's not a problem. We Oh, ouch. Oh, my God, we guts. This is not good. <laughs> eh. Alright, let's... Oh, we're not SLB this turn either. Ooh. Let's cure all debuffs, including the, um... Berserk. I'm thinking. So... I guess we're gonna have to... I want to push that threshold this turn if possible. I really do. But our LB is not good to go. We need healing. So let's, I think a double one of that, I think a heal here should be fine. I think one heal is honestly going to be enough, so we're going to just fill LB three times. Okay, so unfortunately, one of these have to chain. So we're going to triple bolting you and then triple bolting you. To support chain. Okay, so you wait, 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 wait. And please push the 25. Got it. Got it. Okay. Now he's gonna heal, unfortunately. But I think we're gonna be okay. Uh turn five is the full dispel on the boss, remember that. There's the SLB. Um Oh, but shoot. Shoot. No. We can Magnus on Vanille this turn. Yes. We can Magnus on Vanille. The boss is dispelling his debuffs in a second, but how long do these last, actually, these immunity buffs? Uh, five turns? Oh, we're good. We are good. So let's dispel the boss. Oh, she can't do that, huh? Oh, my God. But she can. She can, though. So let's dispel the boss to get rid of that barrier. Let's whoops, whoops, whoops. Hold on. Dispel the boss. Let's imperil. Let's. Do we need healing? Not really, honestly. Let's immunity buff, and I think we need an LB stat buff. Let's do a big LB buff on. Oh, whoop, hold on. Wait a minute. Am I using too many actions? Dispel. I think Vanille can imperil. We don't need the field right now. Yeah, Vanille can imperil, not a problem. Okay, so we don't need imperil on you. So we're going to dispel. Big LB buff. Smaller AOE LB buff. And I don't think we need any kind of healing or anything. So we're going to just immunity buff for the safety. So we'll do that. Now we're going to big break. Long-term break, and AOE for Omni and Peril. All right, SOBU, SOBU. All right, I'm 99.9% .9 sure we're not going to win here, but I'm going to shift Cecil just in case. Um, let's do some damage here. Oh, yeah, we're not winning. That's, that's, that's really close, though. Um... Alright, I'm gonna cheat slightly. I'm gonna look at the turn chart because I don't, I don't, I don't want to lose. Uh, we're on turn four. All right, turn chart, or not the turn chart, the wiki. The wiki turn four. The boss is gonna do confusion. Don't care. Fixed damage, single target, water AOE, and AOE break. And then on turn five, he's gonna cure his debuffs. So we're not dispelled. We're still immune to everything, so that's good. We did Cecil's LB on turn two, and that lasts for four turns, so we're still good, honestly. What is next turn? Turn five. Turn five is going to be a nothing turn. So we're going to use Cecil to Omnicover, honestly speaking. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Yeah. 
Why can't Cecil... I'm so confused. Why can't he multicast his skills? What is going on here? Why can't he multicast his skills? Is he stopped or something? Or like, what? No, really. His, his skills are graying out. Is he out of mana? No. Is this a glitch? I literally can't multicast his skills except for this one. Why? I, I'm 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 beyond confused. I'm so lost. Why can't Cecil multicast his skills? Okay, that was the weirdest glitch. You guys saw that. Like I was trying to multicast his skills and they were not working. But in any case, we got it this time. Um, I guess we can do this for the mana, the mana restoration. Alright, yeah, so we'll kill next turn. We'll use, uh, Fina to fill the rest of the LB, not a problem. Alright, so we gotta do support chaining again. Not a problem here. Support chaining again. I really like Secure Ayaka as a healer. She's only a 7 star, but she's like really good. Uh, and Cecil to the base form so that we go to the next fight with the refreshed field. We're on turn 5. It's four. We have 11 turns for the last fight. Okay, okay, 11 turns for the last fight. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to lose four turns as we break the boss's barrier. You start with a barrier, you got to hit with ice every single turn. Vanille is using an ice weapon, so we're going to be fine. Uh, but it is going to take four turns. Um, all right, we're, we're, we're going to start <laughs> We're gonna start using the wiki page. I don't want to lose. Uh, so the wiki, the boss, we're, we're going to look at the wiki. What is the boss doing? So mitigation, of course, you got to hit him with... One, two, three, four. Yeah, that mitigation. Ooh. It's general mitigation, too. It dispels you afterwards, too. Ah, oh, that's horrible. Okay, whatever. So basically, we just can't do a whole lot right now, so we gotta just chill. Um, it's like a bunch of... Oh, physical damage, too. You know, we're not wearing a lot of physical resistance. So we're gonna guard. I didn't think about this when I made the team. We have no physical mitigation whatsoever. Cecil does not have physical mitigation. And real quick, does this boss dispel me? He does... On the barrier breaking, but that's the only time he dispels, I think. It looks like that's the only time he dispels, and a lot of water damage, too. Okay. Man, I wish we had brought physical mitigation of some kind. We have none, and that's that's a concern. No mirage either. Oh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a problem. All right, we got to hit with ice every turn, so we'll just do that. It's not a problem, and uh, kind of whatever. You <coughs> can do. Yeah, we're just guarding because, you know, whatever. From all enemies. There's no need for that. Okay. We have to win on or before turn 11. Alright, so there's one turn of the ice. I think on turn 4, the ice is going to be gone. So, uh, let's repeat, honestly. Uh, I guess you can do that. You know what I should have done? You know what I should have done with Fina is kill more LB gauge. I didn't think of that. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Because we're going to want that LB gauge for Cecil. 
Yeah, because now we got big and periled. Oh my god, I, I messed that up. Oh, you know what though? We can just do it with um with you again. All right, so I think this turn the boss is gonna shatter the shield. If I'm if I'm doing this correctly. Alright, one, two, three. Or maybe next turn, I don't know. No, next turn. Okay, so next turn... The shield should be gone. Uh, we're not imperiled, that's good. So we're getting dispelled again, so we can just like literally discard, repeat, repeat. Yeah, we're getting dispelled anyway. Oh, and guard these two as well. It's turn four. Yeah, turn four is a sweep. Oh my god, it's minimal damage too. I'm, I'm sitting there, there worried about all that. Alright, there's there it is, there it is. There's the dispel. Okay, so now we can hurt the boss. Um Oh, I wish we had a way to imbue without wasting a turn. That's fine. So let's imbue, let's buff, and does the boss have an HP lock? Sure does, of course. I'm just thinking. Let's go for a big burst next turn. So we're going to imbue the party, we're going to big amp, and we're going to modify our buff. We're going to modify our buff, big amp, and stat buff. You can SLB for the big breaks. We got dispelled, so we need to put up all the immunity buffs again, so, whoops. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Alright, you know what? We're gonna... We're gonna Omni-Cover this turn, because this is turn 5. In turn 5, the boss does a uh, double physical, and we don't have the 75 mitigation, so I, I want to be, like, really safe here. Yeah, because Cecil's evading, so he's like, whatever. Okay, let's do some Bursting right here. Turn 6, I'm a little concerned about this. You know, I probably should have staggered the SLBs, um, or the, uh, the 150 amps. Okay, 50 HP lock is done. Uh, threshold. Threshold is going to be a water resist removal. Not a problem. We'll deal with that next turn. Uh, you can just break whatever and whatever. Um, let's do this. Let's do. Oh, I, sh I should have done that wrong. Whoops, 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 whoops. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We honestly don't need that. I could. No. We're going to do this. Okay, so we're going to set up next turn. I'm going to start bursting. we got to kill by turn 11. I'm, a, I'm slightly concerned here. Okay, so that was a partial dispel. That only removed water resist, not all the buffs. Which is not a problem here. So we're going to three turns. Okay, it's fine. So we're going to re-imbue. We're going to water resist. And we're going to... Killer. I forgot about killers earlier. Three turn killer, that should be fine.
I don't know if I did that, but we'll do it again in case. You. Just reload. You. Let's go ahead and LB to get rid of all the debuffs. You can cover Shelga. Resist. And you. Let's do an immunity down here. And some LB fill. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to start going for the hard bursting the next two or three turns. Yeah, we're going to start support chaining with... The, oh, hello. Okay. Okay, bad things happened. I guess we're not chaining this turn. That's cool. Uh... Uh-oh. You know, I didn't expect that to happen. Hold on. We can do this. We, we can fix this. We can fix this. How did that happen? Oh my god. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on. I hate that she only has double cast. For her buffs. Cecil, oh my god, I really wish you had your Omni cover this turn. Well, shoot, we can't do that, damn it. What? Oh, oh no no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hold on, that's the that that that's just, that's just the water resist thing. Um. Oh no. Oh shoot. We don't have the the eighty seven breaks anymore, or the eighty nine breaks anymore. Um, it's fine, honestly. Are we imperiled? Oh God, yes we are. No, we, that's fine. We, we, we can fix it with Fina. Hold on. Hold on. No, not that. Not that. I don't want the quintuple cast. Damn it. Okay. So... First... Wait, 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 wait. Chain. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. We get the SLB next turn, too. Oh, my God. Please don't die. <laughs> oh, it's an easy turn. It's, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, my God. We get it. Okay, so we did all missions. Yeah, so SLBU. And there it is. Okay. A little bit rough when I didn't plan it out, but uh, we figured it out. We figured it out. It's fine. So 20 turns or less. Yeah, it was 4, 5, and 10. 19 turns. Outstanding. Um, so secure Ayaka. Full evasion. Uh, LB fill, Esper, not LB fill, yeah, not Esper fill, LB fill, LB fill, status immunity, etc. Uh, she definitely pulled it out when we had some unfortunate deaths during the clear. Uh, Cecil is full evasion, passive provoke, not death immunity, so the Kokorayu death, we had to just re raise it, not a problem. Um, passive provoke, full evasion, etc. And then his base form is just using TMR and auto buffing. Um, Bismarck Fina, or whatever, is a full evasion, a little bit of water resist, obviously not enough, because she did die, and uh, she's the buffer. She can deal damage, but honestly, I like her support kit quite a bit. Also, she was our leader, because she gives a thousand leader skill to Rain, and a defensive leader skill to Cecil, which is quite nice. 
um, Vanille uh, using a ice weapon as well as you know water and etc and light up into chain with uh, support chaining full evasion status immunity etc she did die unfortunately but I never potted her with her with her um, 395 defense oh it looks good looks so good yeah I never potted her maybe I should anyway uh, Esper of Ruin Rain there it is maxed LB damage versus Aqua Bird and Dragon and here is the friend maxed LB damage versus I think he's actually short on one of the killers I don't remember let me look real quick um, hold on let me look real quick Oh my god. Yeah, he didn't pot his MP or his HP. It ended up being fine, but still, come on. Why not? Uh, maxed on Bird, maxed on Aqua, and maxed on... Oh yeah, he's maxed on all the killers. So he, he is built for the trial. He's not status immune, but as it turned out, that didn't really matter. I, th I thought it would. Anyway. All missions. First try. First serious try. I did one test run, and then I lost to Kokorayu. That was my first time doing Leviathan, and we won. So it wasn't, overall, it wasn't that hard, honestly. Um, but we got it. Yeah. And pretty equal breakdown. Yeah, both the units were uh, maxed on killers. So, pretty good. Outstanding. Outstanding. There's my Lapis to continue hoarding for a future unit that I don't know which one. But uh, someday, someday we will get a unit that I want to pull for. Like, I'm not hoarding for the sake of hoarding. I'm hoarding because I don't like any of the units that are being released. And uh, I'm not going deep on any of them. Anyway, not the point of the video. See you in a bit.